Welcome back, everybody, to some more Octopath Traveler. I'm your host, The Musical Gamer, and, uh, as you can see in this screen, I was doing some scrutinizing of the people in, um, <laughs> in, 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 in Flames Grace before we left, and I noticed that we picked something up here that says, Where the Ice Giant Sleeps, Information Gleaned. This guy's talking about ice giants. I don't exactly know what that means, but I kind of wanted to show it, because I don't know what's going to happen. He talks about the ice giants, known as the Jotun, which is a, is a Norse thing. It's a- it's a Norse thing when it comes to real life. Ooh, hello. Hello. How oh, nice to meet with a new face. I am Miles. I was recently done the great honor of being appointed to the Knights Ardante. In fact, my late father, rest him, was also a member of the Knights Ardante. Though he was stripped of his cloak for the crime of deserting in the midst of battle. Even now, after all these years, it is difficult to believe such slander to be true. My father would never have abandoned his fellow Knights in battle. So begins the tale of Sir Miles. Oh, okay. Interesting. Can we scrutinize you? Yes, we can. A young man who recently appointed to the Knights Ardante. He's an extremely hard worker due to his strict upbringing. He asked his father on many occasions about his past, but heard nothing until recently. Alright, uh, what can we purchase? Healing grapes. Medium. Eh, not that important. You, madam, tell me your past. One eyewitness account, what is this? regret running away yesterday. I'm sure anyone would have done the same after seeing someone collapse in the streets covered in blood. Wait, what? But it's okay because someone else must have called the guards. That poor person has probably been rescued, right? An eyewitness... Oh. Uh. Wait, what? Where is this? In the streets covered in blood? An eyewitness account? I am a little terrified. Now? Uh... A composite staff. Occasionally puts Tarkin to sleep. That doesn't seem like a bad thing. Elemental attack of 44? Now, who's... What, what kind of equipment do we have right now? No, not you. That's an elemental attack of 38. Actually, this thing is way better. Well, not way, but it is just better. Sure, I'll buy it. You know, I'll, I'll buy you out. Thank you kindly. Sweet. Let's give this to somebody. You know, that actually seems like a good weapon for you, per se. Composite staff, a little bit more elemental attack, a little bit more physical attack, and the occasional, occasional ability to put things to sleep. That sounds lovely. Hey, right, let's do it. A good day to you. Yeah, flames, Grace. I am, mmm. I don't know what's, what's, what's going on here. Hold on, my map is saying there's another, another thing in here? Ooh, in here. Hello. Can I see them to see the way of it? That's it. It's all over now. My research is done with. I'm finished. Something suggests that the Jotun should reside somewhere in this land, but I cannot find the proof. If there was only some proof that my years of research weren't for naught. Well, I mean, don't we have... something? Do we not have anything? The Headmaster has yet to acknowledge his work. Oh my god, you're from, uh, you're from Cyrus's hometown. Huh. Okay. Fire Soul Stone, Fire Soul Stone M. Nope, can't do anything with you. Dungeon key, not for sale. Unlocks the cell of an allegedly innocent man. Excuse me? Hold on, that's that's worth ten. I think I'll buy this. I bet I can get more than ten for it. Better believe it. The misery of my job. It takes money, and money means more work. It just never ends. How the... Mm. How do I get your key, good sir? Proud soldier and keeper of the peace of Flames Grace. Unfortunately, his job often makes him the target of resentment, so he drowns in sour and liquor under the guise of keeping warm. How do I... Hmm. Remember him for later, viewers, because I'm going to want to do something about him and get that freaking key. The fact that you have something that says not for sale really makes me want to take it. <laughs> just just throwing that out there, game. Uh, okay. Well, now without further ado, let's let's actually warp ourselves back down here to Ripple Tide. God, I love the fact that the load times are so so quick. Hello. Ugh. Matilda, why can't he seem to understand? Same stubborn fool is proposed to be ten times over. Oh! Every time I turn him down and every time he runs home, crying all the way. 
What woman in the right mind would want to marry such a spineless and fragile man? Poor dude. Known for her beauty, this woman is the object of affection for many. Men come to Ripple Tide from far and wide seeking her hand, though her scathing words chase them all away. Ah, most intriguing, I see. We can buy a plate shield from you. Eh, tempting, but I think I'll pass. Hey, Ma. Hey, Pa. Hey there. Welcome to the Colzioni family. Provisioners. We don't have it, no one does. Do I get a family discount? <laughs> Apparently I don't. Uh, what about this? Five oh, damn it. I only got five. I lost five leaf. Fuck you, game. God damn it. Hey there. Old Neo. Can we? We could actually take him. That's hilarious. Stress his father. Stress his father, an owner of the Colzioni family provisioners. He met his wife while roaming the realm as a traveling merchant. He longed to have his own shop in his hometown of Rippletide, and in the same year his daughter was born, he made that dream come true. Aw, that's nice. We're learning something about Tress's family. Uh, beastly scarf, slippery nut, revitalizing jam. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> My Minnesota mother. If you're looking for it, just say the word. Can we scrutinize you? Stay away from me here. Oh, sorry. What? But, but I'm your daughter. I'm here too. Tress's mother. She was working at the general store in her hometown when she met Olneo and eventually decided to go to Rippletide with me as bride. A youthful beauty who can still turn heads. She sometimes gets mistaken for Olneo's daughter. <laughs> is she 37? She's still pretty young. Ooh. Dragon scarf. Rare stone. Greatly increases the middle. I, I don't trust these items I can buy for money. Like, to sell them back for money. I, I never make a profit. I've not made a profit once doing that. So, screw you, game. I ain't doing it. The truth is... Lamont? He's always wanted to be an adventurer, but between the two of us, he can't even tie his shoelaces without someone himself. Ha! Ah, uh, it's funny. Greetings. How about you? Scrutinize you? I'm curious to see if we find any hidden items. Child of a friend of Lamont's. He's both admonished and encouraged his friend, who has always aspired to be a great adventurer. All right, fair enough. What you got to what you got for sale? Nothing I care about. Oh, uh, sorry, I, I did I didn't mean to upset you. Oh, hidden miter. Tony, hidden hidden item, hidden miter. What? I was reading mother at the same time. Tony's mother, a strong and robust woman who worries about her son, who was raised to be as spineless as his own father. Oh no. Oh poor kid. Well, here's the item. What is this? A large thunder soul stone. That's pretty nice, actually. Nothing to be found here. He's got all the soul stones. I'm actually kind of tempted to buy them. Huh. There's a strange land that lies over the other side of the ocean. Huh. Strange land, you say, huh? his own devices of his busy parents. Okay, fair enough. Fantasy stories. I can understand that. What about you? Oh, uh, he's he's none too happy. One more time. Yes. Smarter bartering. Young man who resides in Ripple Tide with his grandmother. Though he lacks her prowess and trade, he still has an ability of his own, getting others to open their hearts to him. Smarter bartering. Sweet. That's awesome. We have a better chance of getting a discount when you purchase items. Part way. Oh, you're still with me. Yeah, go, 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 go back home, dude. See, see you later. Oh my God, I forgot you were still with me. Oh, you've been following me this whole time. Oh, uh, my bad, dude. I forgot about you. Ah, I see a side quest up over there. You, good sir. I'm coming to talk to you. Tell me your woes. <laughs> oh, this is Lamont. Shame. Uh, anyhow, I am just about to set out on the journey of a lifetime. I seem to be completely unequipped. <laughs> Seriously? What do you want me to do? I can guide you. Clenched fist. His staff. Lamont. I don't... Do we want to do this, I wonder? 
Uh, may not look like it, but I'm in need of some help. Of course, your kindness will not go unrewarded. Anyone who comes to my aid will be a memorable sidekick. Great. That's exactly what I want. What am I supposed to do? There's fetches fair price, fair price, modest price. I don't trust any of those. Uh-oh. Crap. All right. No more. <laughs> I don't want to lose reputation. I don't know when that recovers or if it recovers that over time. Is. Far to the south, you can get the best quatrate flowers. Oh, interesting. All right. Well, interesting. We found two side quests here, but I don't exactly know how to complete them. We're going to have to come back at another later point. But for right now, I want to start making our way over to... Uh, over to the city in the south. So, we need to go this way. We need to go this way, and we need to go down. <laughs> uh, wait. What is this? North Rippletide Code to Atlaston. Rippletide Gold Shore. Well, let's go to Gold Shore. Right? Wait, is this the right way? It should be. Oh, that's definitely why they call it, go call it Gold Shore. Look at how much the sand sparkles. Ready or not, here I come. Hey, we're home. What Hi, guys. Of Take some lightning. Down. I was about to say, that's probably going to hurt. It's going to hurt a lot. Do this. Ooh, we don't have... Ooh, uh-oh. I'll do my best. We don't have any more SP. Hmm. Yeah, they killed one of them. My turn now. And there goes him. And there goes you. Nice. Okay, that wasn't that bad. I was, I was worried it would be a little bit more difficult than that. Thankfully, I was wrong. <laughs> it was very, very much wrong. North Cobbleston Gap. Okay, this is it. This is the way we need to go. Ooh. Okay, this place just got really eerie. Light Soul Stone. Wow, what is with this place? This place is so freaking misty and gray and dreary. God damn. South Cobbleston Gap to Cobbleston. Stone Guard, Ripple Tide. Alright, well, we're, we're going to the city, so I guess we need to go up. Ooh, hello. How do I get you? I wonder. I guess I go back down? I guess I missed something here. Ooh, hello. What are these things? Rats? Freaking rats. Rats, man. Highland Ratkin. God damn it. Use ice. Oh, ice. Nope. No luck there. Let's do this. Break him. Ah! ah! You missed, fool. Oh, flames. Rain. What to do? You what to do, huh? How about you murder this guy? Oof, even less experience. <laughs> even less experience than the other fight. Yeah, these guys aren't that great for getting getting points and stuff. Uh oh come on! How do I How do I get up there? That's mildly annoying. How do I get to that chest? Wait, is this a path right here? Derp. It's a path right here. God damn it. I'm there freaking no blind choice. as a bat. Ah, oh, we to swords and swords and daggers. Oh, you're a different dude. Okay. Fair enough. Have a lightning. Nope, lightning doesn't work. 
I bet wind would work, but we don't have any. We don't have any uh, leftover abilities here. Yep, you are weak to bows. I bet you're weak to everything here. Oh, they're weak to holy. Ooh, not wind, but holy. Uh, do it again. <laughs> I was about to say, that should like completely the obliterate them. That's a strong move. Cyrus is actually ready to level up again. Not too bad. Oh, no, no, no. This way. Inspiring plum. What, what, what? What is over here? Untouched sanctum. Danger level 15. Excuse me? Oh, thanks for the money. <laughs> what? What is this place? Danger level 15? Untouched sanctum. Alright then. Hello, save point. Don't particularly need you right now. Hey, more money. Sweet. Right, what do we got down here? Healing grape. Fair enough. Finding a lot of those in chests. Chests are getting to be kind of boring. <laughs> this, well, they only ever have like a couple of similar items. Cobbleston is up to the north. Sh uh, Sunshade is over to the over to the west, and Ripple Tide would be that way to the east. Well, we, ooh, I was about to say we made it to town. Apparently, I spoke too soon. What the hell is that thing? Is that a freaking sheep? You're weak to dark. My turn now. It's a rockadillo. No, it is not a sheep. <laughs> not, not at all. It's a freaking rock. It's a rock armadillo. A rockadillo. That's fucking metal, man. What the hell? <laughs> Oh god, it shouldn't be so funny, but it is. It is. Oh, are you weak to bows? <laughs> oh man. Alright, we killed the we killed the bird. Oh, Cyrus is out of SP. Leaf. Not too bad. Yeah, we're not really having much luck here. here I go. No, I'm not weak to spears. I bet you're weak to bows. My turn now. Oh, light. Well, it doesn't matter. You've been killed by Oh Sacred Light. Level 10 for Cyrus. Not too bad. And Ophelia is level 7, so she's catching up too. It's nice to see that these characters are, in fact, catching up to each other in levels. So they'll, they'll, they'll not usually be more than a level or two behind. Even when we start. Oh, hello, there's a new guy. Well met. This here's Cobblestone, our little home in the hills. Well, nice to meet you. Let's take a look around town before we go talk to uh, the guy over here. The wool of the sheep raised in these windswept lands can command a high price at market. Nevertheless, this man is content to charge a modest amount and pass his days in peace and quiet. A hidden item. Cool. You have any... Ooh! A general store! You have everything! That's fair enough. We buy greatsword. That's really strong. A war spear for Tressa. A little bit weaker, actually, and really weak on the elemental attack, but her speed goes up quite a bit. Arcane knife, round shield, everybody's equipped with that. A bronze helm, physical defense plus 20. I am actually interested in giving that to Tressa. Silver vest. Hmm. 
Hmm. It's either that or I give her the sturdy helm. I'm not sure. I'm not exactly sure what I want to go for here. We'll, uh, we'll hold off. Actually, can we sell anything? We can sell the staff. I'm gonna hold on to this quartz rod, though. Uh, sell these bucklers, too. And this leather helm. This ordinary hat. Keep the silver hairpiece. Sell the robe. Get us a little bit of money. Oh, there's the hidden item. Ah, there See, there's are. a cave deep in the hills, not that I've been there, but with those brigands milling about. How about you? Can we scrutinize you? 40% chance to fail, or to succeed. Oh, we did it! Holy crap. A hidden item. An itinerant youth ever in search of exceedingly rare apothecarial ingredients. Most intriguing. Not too bad. What, what do you sell? You're finding dust, olive bloom, curious bloom. All right, what do we got here? Olive of life. I think I saw the other thing over here. Yep. Purifying seed. Now, what what are some of these items I've been picking up? Ooh, knowledge. That's a that's an item category apparently. I didn't notice that before. Seeds. Potent medicinal component of small volume. Oh, that, that's just the injurious seed. This is elemental attack. So, wait a minute. Are these... Items that just increase our stats? Huh. Physical attack, elemental attack. Let's give it to Cyrus. Cyrus's elemental attack increased. Okay, yes, they are. That is exactly what these things are. I think I'm going to save these two, because I don't particularly want to give these to Tressa. I don't think. Hmm. I could have been using that before. Eh, oh well. Better late than never. Wasn't entirely sure that's what they were used for. My job was to say and protect the villagers. Okay, then what's your what's your job now? Challenge with ease. Before his tenure as captain, this former mercenary took a grave wound in his knee. He took an arrow! Oh, do not tell me it was an arrow. I swear to God, game. If you tell me it was an arrow to the knee, I'm gonna throw you right back to 2000 fucking 11 with Skyrim, where you belong. Before his tenure as captain... Band of the profession. Long days and nights he wandered until the headman showed him kindness, which he was sworn to pray. Hey, the challenge with ease, what does that do? You'll find the residents of this town more receptive to your challenges. Okay. Uh, sure, we'll buy the healing grape. Aww. Praying to the gods, you can bring my boy back unharmed. What? What do you mean? Wait, what the hell do you mean, bring your boy back? Do you mind, sir? I'll keep keep your nose in your own affairs. Ah, oh, Cyrus is being nosy. Oh god damn it! Come on, I succeeded at a forty percent chance. I'm failing at sixty. You? Oh come on, man! I have a better chance to succeed than fail. Oh Jesus Christ! Fine, forget it. We'll be back later. Silver clock not for sale. Healing grape. Medium. What about you? If it's 90% chance, I'll, I'll risk it. An elderly man to whom the people of Cobbleston looked for guidance after losing his wife in the fires of war, he laid down his arms once and for all. Without hesitation, he welcomes those bearing similar scars to his own and refrains from asking the ghosts that may haunt them. A hidden item. Alright, well, we'll find that item in a minute, I think. Why, hi. This is the tavern. Oh, the tavern. Hello. Uh, no. I'm gonna- I'm gonna die if I do that. Sure, we'll buy that. An unerring earring. Hello, tavern keeper. Housekeeping? Housekeeping? No. <laughs> Not housekeeping. Yeah, our reputation is unblemished. This is like a really quaint little town. I kind of like it. It's like, a, it's like a little farming village in the mountains. It's quite... It's quite nice, actually. I've always wanted to visit a place like this, you know? I figure I could find places like this, I don't know, somewhere like the Andes or things like that. 
Uh, where, where is the hidden item? There has to be a hidden item somewhere. Where? <laughs> Am I blind? I don't, I don't see it. It's not in any of the buildings. You, old man. Where is the hidden item? Am I actually blind? I think I am. I literally, I probably walked past this thing like three, four times now at this point. Uh, well, this is the inn. We should rest here. I mean, it's getting more expensive. So the more people we add to our party, the more expensive resting at inns is going to get. But I mean, I guess that makes sense. I mean, unless it's actually a hidden item. Oh, no. Not allowed to go that way. I was about to say, I'm like, unless it's a hidden item hidden on another screen, but I, I haven't seen that happen yet. <laughs> Was that a kitty? I heard a kitty. No, I don't, I don't see anything. What the hell, man? Alright, well, I guess that's it. Uh, next time on Let's Play Octopath Traveler, after after searching around the village for a while, maybe I'll find it, maybe I won't, but next time we will go talk to lovely Olberic over here, and we'll, uh, we'll go ask him what his troubles are. Have him join the team. So, thanks all for watching. This is The Musical Gamer signing off. I will see you guys in the next video, where we will do just that. Catch you guys next time.